ultimately the fight with Pedro, you got to be so well prepared because he's so tough and he's such a hardworking guy. What have you done specifically for this matchup that will allow for you to go out and look fantastic like you've done to this point? It's been a long training camp. I, I've, uh, you know, I wanted to fight fight Pedro back in Phoenix when they when they came to Phoenix, but uh, they said uh, Pedro win. So, you know, I've wanted to fight Pedro for for a while now, and I've known about this fight. You know, it's gonna be a long, long training camp. Um, my weight fucking per or oops, sorry, my weight's perfect. Training camp's been going great. <laughs> like I said, I need to go in there and just do what I know I'm capable of doing. Fight my fight, and uh, you know. Pedro's the shortest guy I've fought. I feel like I tend to do really well against, you know, shorter guys. Uh, I know Chael doesn't believe in a reach advantage, but I sure do, and I, I feel like I know how to use my reach. And I'm also expecting this to be a war. I'm expecting this to be a 15-minute, you know, brutal fight. I don't, I don't expect it to go in there and for me to put his lights out in the first round. Will that happen? Probably. It always does. But I'm ready for 15. <laughs> Hey, I like the confidence, bro. And when you've done what you've done inside the octagon, it makes sense that you'd be that way. But you're kind of a polarizing figure in the UFC. It's either people really love you or they're on the other side. Aljermaine Sterling had some comments about you, and he spoke glowingly about who you are and what you mean to the sport. How do you feel when you have a guy who's a champion come out and speak that highly of you even though you're very early on in your UFC career yeah I think anyone that's got you know legitimate skills as Aljo does anyone that's a extremely high level fighter uh, they watch what I'm doing you know Aljo's been to my live events he's seen me perform live and you know he's not stupid so he sees there's true skill there I've been training for 11 years I've been doing this for a long time um, you know, I, I believe I'm a vet. I've had a lot of fights. I had 14 amateur fights. I've got a good amount of pro fights. Um, you know, a lot of people, for whatever reason, think I can't grapple uh, just because I haven't really been taken down much in my fights. But, you know, I remember choking, uh, taking uh, Takanori Gomi's neck, you know, a couple of years ago back in, uh, I think it was 2000, whatever, 19 in the grappling match, you know, went nine, nine minutes with Gilbert Melendez. I know how to grapple. I just haven't had to use it, and uh, so so I think that's where people kind of, you know, think, oh, he's a good striker, but he can't grapple. Just take him down. So people are gonna find out. Maybe this fight. Hopefully not. Ideally, I go in there. Pedro can't touch me, and I dot him up for 15 minutes. So we'll, we'll, we'll see how it plays out. But I'm excited. I'm very, very freaking excited for this fight. <laughs> How much do you think your experience will play into this fight? That's the one sort of criticism on O'Malley is that, you know, a lot of his, his opposition has not been ranked opponents. You fought, like I said, probably one of the toughest schedules in the bantamweight division. How much will that play into this fight, do you think? 100%, you know. Um, he's a guy that has a lot of fights, too. You know, doesn't have, he hasn't fought, you know, definitely the type of fighters that I fought uh, lately special that you know being top 15 top 10 the last six years of my career so that's the type of fighters that I have been and you know one thing that I know that um, I have a lot of durability you know and that experience cannot cannot pay that because definitely it's a, or, or are you durable or you're not you know I think that one of the factors that I can you know fight hard fights and you know and even though that I'm getting not any younger anymore, I think that my training lately for the last couple of years has been smarter, you know. Uh, like I said, we have a huge selection of fighters here. So, you know, besides the fights that I've been, the type of fighters that I fought before, also the coaches we have, the training partners that we have all over the world, Brazil, Europe, uh, Dagestan, Chechnya, Russia, all these is just, you know, um, make me a better fighter every time I step in the octagon. I'm comfortable in fighting Sean O'Malley. You know, I know very well my skills. I know what I'm good at, you know, and what type of fighter that I'm, you know, that I am. And can't wait to fight him, you know, um, and keep, and keep, and keep, you know, climbing this ladder and, and maybe the legacy 